uh, with me and me and Spatry joked on it Sunday night on the podcast. I said, uh, Windows 10 surpasses 300 million intrusions. I mean downloads. I think you got a kick out of that. So, <laughs> how, I don't know. how do you like Windows 10 so far? It's 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 fine when it works. Yeah. Uh, X Metal uh, uploaded a uh, well. He, he posted a link to Google Plus where somebody was um, doing a gaming video on Twitch or something, and halfway in the middle of the game, the system rebooted because it had to configure updates. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. I guess last week there was a, a live weather news blooper. The the uh, the news lady was doing her thing. You know, tomorrow's forecast will be. And, the seven, and then this Windows 10 upgrade pop-up came up live on the TV screen. She says, oh, look, it's time for Windows 10. Of course, Spatry had to eat that one up, right? That was funny. For sure. Or I'm just like you. It's kind of dark, only smarter and better looking. <laughs> well, we'll have to see about that. That's the new poll. <laughs> Who's better it, it, was, it was on sales, and it, it just, I had to get it. That's cool, that's cool. There you go, now <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> okay. And now, now, Spatry challenged me to take the 30-day Manjaro. Thanks for the tips, by the way. The Manjaro yeah. test, he says, it is virtual box user friendly. Well, if you want to take another crack at it, they recently released the 1606 um, pre-Alpha 3. It doesn't have those update and download problems that the uh, 1504 did. So well, I just I went to the website. I believe the the, the 15 some that's the latest stable version. I'm assuming. Yeah, sort of the okay. way that it's well the way that it's listed on the website. That's the latest official release. But as far as one being more stable than the other, they're really all the same because it's a rolling release. So it's they, they basically just take snapshots of what they already have, and that's the release. So th there, there really isn't a whole lot of difference. If you install the 15.0 whatever release, once you install all the updates, you're on the 16 release anyway. It's, so it, so they're, they're just as stable as each other. It's just that because it's a rolling release, they're different snapshots of what's happening. Okay. But, but when you take the snapshot of what's already posted to the website they have different themes in there and some different patches and things that you might not get in your updates so that's one of the reasons why you might want to grab the newer snapshot so you can get those things but as far as stability is concerned they're pretty much the same release because after you do those updates you know you're since it's rolling you're on the same version anyway so alpha betas and quote latest those are all the, the same not in terms of the of the classification for the snapshots, uh -huh. but all of the packages and package versioning, that's all the same. It, it doesn't matter. Once you install the updates, if you look at the packages that you have installed, they're all the same version that okay. as the latest snap, snapshot. They all get updated to the same release number is what I'm trying to say because it's, well, it, it is a rolling release. It, it's kind of weird to, to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, well... I tried the, uh, I call it affectionately the squid in installer calamaris and it crashed. Yeah. I, I don't really, I don't really care for that one. Uh, well, especially uh, warned me afterwards. Yeah, I tried, so, so to be fair, I started over and I did the, uh, not the Klee installer, but the uh, thus, the, thus installer. And that one's fine. So yeah, that's, that's the one that I use. Okay. Yeah. Install Find Me box, not an issue. And I continued and then I, I had the update notification. It says 800 megabytes at that. I, th I think I'll stop here. But so far, so good. And it is zippy. Even in a VBox, it is zippy. I will yeah. say that. So well, The Calamari installer really isn't specifically for Manjaro. It's just that the Manjaro team are the developers of that installer. Okay. And that installer is universal and non-distro specific. Okay. But the Manjaro hardware detection tool yeah. is one example. Yeah. They have their own kernels that they're, they're separate from the Arch kernels. They're, they're, they take the Arch kernels, but they, they patch them. They put some stuff in. They, they don't change much about them, 
but they do patch them in such a way that they can keep them separate from the arch uh, stuff so they can do their own thing to them. So uh, as a result, in order to get the latest drivers and stuff to work with their kernels, they have to basically release these pre-compiled uh, driver blobs that match the kernels. From Manjaro? From Manjaro, yeah. Okay. And there's a problem with that for me. They, it doesn't really work well on my Dell laptop. It's not very compatible. Mm. There, if I just go stock Arch, it works fine. Really? So I do, I do run into some issues like that, where some of the things that the Manjaro guys change actually make it not work on my hardware, where if I just stuck with the regular Arch release, it, it, there's no issue. So it's like rolling a dice crapshoot. It might work, it might not. Yeah, for me, it is. Okay. Uh, Manjaro works perfectly good on this desktop here, and there's no problems. It works all right on my uh, Asus laptop, but my Dell, it, it's got the older um, GMA integrated inside graphics before Sandy Bridge came out. And the way that they have that configured, it just doesn't work right. Hmm. But the, there are little quirks about it that if, you, if you've never experienced them before and you don't know how to deal with them, it, it can be off-putting. Yeah. It really can. Like, uh, if your updates are going really slow, most people don't know how to deal with that. You do the, I, I sent that command to you in, in the in, in the YouTube comment. Well, if you don't know, then someone has to go read the uh, read the instructions that pops up when you first, right, log into the Manjaro default desktop, well, right? I learned a lot of the fixes from actually the Arch Linux forms. Okay. Because Manjaro is based on Arch, but so, they're So it's the same commands. Right. Yeah, but the, the Arch documentation is some of the best around. Okay. So if I'm having an issue in Manjaro, I look for that issue in the Arch yeah. forms. Usually I'll find a solution there. Okay. Um, and that's, uh, well, in, in the case of the mirror syncing, that's Manjaro does their own thing. Uh, that's set because uh, Arch uses like the rank mirrors. You could also use a, a third party utility called Reflector to do it. But if your downloads are going slow, uh, like in Ubuntu or Linux Mint, they yeah. just have that window where you could choose the fastest server from a list. Okay. But in Manjaro, you just open up terminal, you do sudo pacman dash mirrors space dash g, and it'll automatically look at the, uh, it'll basically bounce a ping off yeah. of each, every server, yeah. and it'll automatically arrange every download server from the fastest to and the And that slowest. always works, that command? That command is what does it. And once you do that, the updates and the downloads Super fast, faster than anything that I've experienced on Ubuntu. Okay, but is that command what? and someone something else you mentioned in that comment? Are those commands in that standard document folder when you first boot into Manjaro? I don't know. Okay, I'm just I, kind I, of curious. I should have I, looked to be fair, but I, I don't really remember her to be honest. Okay, but that's fair. Okay, all right. These are just things that I've picked up just from using it for a while. I didn't know about them before. I I just. I used it for like a few months and then all of a sudden, man, these downloads are really slow. What's going on? And then after searching the forums, I discovered that command and I typed it in and it fixed everything because it resynced all of the mirrors. And, you know, I, I just remember all that stuff. And it, it, it it's things like that that kind of put users off because if they have these issues, it's as simple as one command to refresh everything. But if you're them. new, but, but if you don't know, know, that's a make or break. Right. Yeah. If you don't know that, how are you going to deal with it if yeah. you don't know that? So that that's why I say if you're you know if you're interested in Manjaro, you should stick with it. And when you run into problems, just ask people that use it. Yeah. And eventually you'll learn what the ins and outs are. Uh, I genuinely do think that Manjaro is one of the better distros out there. Okay. I I, I put Arch Linux in first place, but I definitely would not recommend it to somebody that isn't, you know, experienced. I was going to say, for beginners, maybe yeah. Manjaro if you take the time. That's the right. key. It's maybe. Arch, Arch is definitely not the no. place to go for a beginner. It's, pow it's power user stuff. Someone who knows. Right. It's it is, As far as the Linux experience goes, Arch is where it is at. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, because that's pure but, Linux. But you have to know what you're doing. Okay. Unfortunately, so Arch is my number one choice, but 
you know, you, you, you kind of have to go in. You kind of have to go to that camp already knowing what you're doing. It doesn't it's mean not, Linux sucks. It just means it's not no. for the newbie. I guess that's the best answer. No, Arch is not a newbie friendly uh, place to go, but I do really like it. Okay. Uh, Manjaro is the user friendly version of Arch, I guess you could yeah. say. Yeah. 